اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر فرینڈس ویلکم ٹو آئیڈیا فاؤنڈیشن فورم ایز اے پارٹ آف لیکچرز آن قرآنک فلاسفی آف یونٹی ان ڈائیورسٹی ٹاپک آف آور ڈسکشن ٹو ڈے از یونٹی آف ڈیوائن آڈر یونٹی آف ڈیوائن آڈر فرام ایٹم ٹو یونیورس دا ڈیوائن آڈر ریپرزینٹس اللہ ڈیونٹی ہیز کمانڈ سسٹم دیٹ پرمیٹس تھرو آؤٹ دا پری اینڈ پوسٹ کریشن آف دا یونیورس اینڈ ورکنگ آف دا ٹائنیسٹ اسپیکس آف دی ایٹم کالڈ پروٹونس نیوٹرونس اینڈ الیکٹرونس آر کاکس آر ایون their lower constituents they may lead to infinity the facts not yet known to the man their divisibility is so subtle and minute that science has named them waves but look at the perfect laws of nature that enable protons and neutrons sustain and perpetuate by escaping by escaping the gravity of electrons as defined by science under the exclusion principle while similar gravity is so powerful that a star may collapse or a black hole may take place by its force as we discussed in lecture 159 you remember okay sustainability of the star and survival of the proton are in fact interactive interactive integrated into a single unified and collaborative system of divine laws of nature the divine order designed by the great architect allah nur samawati wal arz allah al khaliq al bari al musaffir The Quran says that the mightiest elements of the universe, mightiest, powerful stars and tiniest elements of the universe, trees, submit to the same divine laws of nature as told in Ayat 6 of Surah Ar-Rahman. And they resort to the call of Allah every moment. as told by ayat 29 of surah ar-rahman the man's speculation is based on very little knowledge he has as science itself says that the human knowledge of the universe is just a tip of iceberg then how the man can deny the grand working of the divine order that sustains the most articulated and precisely collaborative systems of the universe without having even a clue of divine knowledge as the quran says and they ask thee of the soul say tell them the soul proceeds from my lord's amr my lord's command but of knowledge only a little to you is given it is ayat 85 of surah 17 dear friends before we proceed further i may request to devote a few minutes focusing on the figure displayed on the screen it was firstly introduced in lecture 89 which describes connectivity between human needs brain mind heart and human soul and also it indicates how a well groomed human soul can peep into the divine order to seek higher wisdom and higher consciousness friends interested to know details of the grand divine connectivity shown in the figure may revisit lectures from 89 to 
on ideafoundation.com.pk YouTube web channel. Let us now focus on some Quranic verses relating the divinely command and control systems operating in various elements of the universe, finally merging into the grand divine order with the scientific input on these matters we discussed in lecture 159 in some detail. So dear friends, we have been discussing the Quranic verses revealing that Allah, His divinity, the divine order and His creation are beyond comprehension of limited human intellect. Quranic references are shown on the screen. However, Allah has directed the man to employ all the available sources of knowledge to know him, to know Allah and his divinity so that he could submit to Allah's will most emphatically with his choice, love and devotion. With choice, love and devotion. Unfortunately, we the Muslims could not do much justice in fulfilling this important obligation. The Western world made great endeavors in the domain of science to know various aspects of creation of the universe. Since their vision, their vision was confined to senses and intellect only, they couldn't see working of the divine order. They could not see working of the divine order behind materiality of the universe, unfortunately. This was the reason that science, besides frequent assumptions and theoretical revisions, could not reach some final credible conclusions. Science still, science still feels helpless on huge number of cosmic puzzles, including a few we discussed in previous lecture 159, like the absence of first cause that fueled the Big Bang, reality of the black holes, black matter and black energy, the force that saves the protons from collapse driven by the density of the electron under exclusion principle. And next is incompatibility of theory of general relativity and theory of quantum mechanics, extra, extra. So combined study of the Quranic knowledge on the divine order, the laws of nature operating behind the creation and working of the universe and the scientific discoveries regarding the material makeup of the universe may help in resolving the said puzzles pointed out by science. This endeavor will surely lead us to know more comprehensive view of the creation, truth about the creator and the man's obligation to the creator and the creation which includes the living and non-living creatures both. So, dear friends, in lecture 153, we focused on a chart trying to understand various levels of the divinity, the divine order and the creation. Kindly have a look on the screen to refresh memory, especially on its right column captioned with command or amar. The divine command system may be explained by dividing it in four levels. It must be kept in mind that this description is purely academic one for educational purpose. However, its components have been referred in various verses of the Quran. So first level of the divine order includes divine authority commanding the creation, life, growth, collapse, and end of the universe are universes or their constituents. Why universes? 
because there is one view that there are more than one universes. The constituents may also include black holes, black matter and black energy besides the galaxies, stars and planets. Quran refers to creation and expansion of the heavens in the quickest time frames in the verses of Quran shown on the screen. Sometimes number of heavens is told seven, but it is yet beyond comprehension whether one heaven is equated with the whole universe or one component of the universe. At places, it is revealed that heavens have been created in layers, while at other places, the heaven containing the clusters and constellations of stars is told neighborhood of the earth. The Quran says, the universe is not a static phenomena, is not a static phenomenon. It is perpetually growing. It also reveals ascending and descending of matter from the heaven that indicates creation of new stars and collapsing of old ones. Such collapsing of stars may be understood as black holes. The Quranic information on all these aspects is quite evident of the facts discovered by science today. Second level of the divine order includes the divine regulatory system or the laws of nature regarding operations of and interaction among the constituting organs of the universe. Operational perfection and systematic consistency of the constituents of the universe persuade the man to believe existence of a master mind who is running the affairs of the universe through a divine order or we may call it the laws of nature. These laws are extremely definite to ensure operational precision, perfect certainty, stability and sustainability of the systems which the science has persistently observed now. Third level of the divine order is the human soul which was breathed into the man by Allah from his own spirit, his amr or divine command. Thus the human soul gets connected gets connected with the divine order through its perennial relation with the divine spirit, provided it is kept purified from the worldly perversions, corruptions. Besides this divinely connectivity, the man was accorded a marvelous personality embellished with, decorated with wonderful body, free will, and knowledge through senses, mind and heart as beautifully revealed in Ayat 32 of Surah as Sajda displayed on the screen. The human soul guides the man for the righteous life, but he has also been given a free personality to use his discretion. When the man dies, his body of dust stays back while his soul joins the divine order and reports to the creator with the performance sheet of the man. To refresh your memory on the connection of human soul and the divine order, lecture 139 may be revisited on the ideafoundation.com.pk YouTube channel. Fourth level of the divine order is the divine direction, divine direction that permeates throughout all the living and non-living things. 
if you have a look on the chart displayed on the screen divine direction have been shown against animals plants or vegetation non living things and atoms which represents behavioral programming for each of them set by the creator every one of them is constrained to pursue a determined code of conduct throughout its life this programming is netted with the divine order to keep each and every particle of the universe within the ambit of allah's lordship so dear friends to highlight this fact we gave a footnote on the chart that reads there is nothing self centered everything sustains with the laws command this brief statement in fact reflects the grand divine reality revealed through several verses of the quran however due to time constraints i may share a few of them to further explain the message ayat 82 of surah yasin reveals that allah's command is subtle and carries absolute authority ayat says his command allah's command is only when he intends a thing that he says to it be and it is ayat 11 of surah fussilat reveals that before conversion into stars universe was smoky and gaseous ayat says then he directed himself to the heaven while it was smoke and said to it and to the earth come into being willing or by compulsion they said allah we have come willingly ayat 12 of surah fussilat indicates multiple layers of the universe are possibility of multiverse cosmos cosmos having many universes ayat says and he completed them as seven heavens within two days and inspired in each heaven its command and we adorn the nearest heaven with lamps lamps means stars and as protection that is the determination of the exalted in might the knowing ayat 30 of surah al anbiya reveals that earth was detached from the solar mass at much later stage ayat says have those who disbelieved not considered that the heavens and the earth were a joint entity and we separated them and made from water every living thing then will they not believe ayat 2 of surah saba refers to a growing universe but sometime old stars may collapse as black holes ayat says he knows what penetrates into the earth and what emerges from it and what descends from the heaven and what ascends therein and he is the merciful the forgiving ayat 61 of surah yunus reveals divisibility of an atom to infinity and allah's all pervasive command ayat says and not absent from your lord is any part of an atom's weight within the earth or within the heaven or anything smaller than that sub atoms smaller than that less than atoms that or greater but that is in a clear register ayat 5 of surah yunus revealed the sun as a light generating cosmic body about 1500 years ago 
ayat says it is he who made the sun a shining light shining light light giving and the moon a derived light and determined for its phases ayat 41 of surah nur reveals that all the living creatures comply with the divine direction ayat says do you not see that allah is exalted by whoever is within the heavens and the earth and by the birds with wings spread in flight each of them has known his means of prayer and exalting him and allah knows of, of what they do ayat 38 of surah yasin revealed that the sun has fixed life which science could discover recently ayat says and the sun runs on course towards its stopping point that is the determination of the exalted in might the knowing ayat 45 of surah nur reveals that water is source of life which has now been proved by science ayat says allah has created every living creature from water and of them are those that move on their bellies and of them are those that walk on two legs and of them are those that walk on four legs allah creates what he wills indeed allah is over all things competent ayat 11 of surah shura reveals the system of procreation by making pairs from a single soul the quran also tells us that all living and non living things known or unknown exists in pairs recent discovery in this respect is of protons and electrons which having positive and negative charge together become the basis of matter and life i says he is creator of the heavens and the earth he has made for you from yourselves mates and among the cattle's mates he multiplies you thereby there is nothing like unto him and he is the hearing the seeing dear friends i have shared a few verses of the quran in view of time constraints for more detailed study on the subject a list of related quranic references have been displayed on the screen which may be noted one point that needs emphasis is that the whole system of the universe is subjected to predetermined laws of nature sometimes when we do not find the supporting law behind some happening we try to create assumptions or exclusions as science did in case of missing first cause of the big bang or exclusion principle when theory of general relativity failed to explain escape of proton from the collapsing force of the electron's gravity in fact as we know little of the material universe as we know little of the material universe our knowledge of the laws of nature or the divine order is also extremely limited such human limitation is beautifully described in ayat 85 of surah al isra displayed on the screen with this perspective it may be suggested that science must seek guidance from the quranic revelations for more comprehensive knowledge of the universe its creator and the divine order combined study of the quranic knowledge and scientific discoveries will also help attain higher wisdom higher wisdom for welfare of the humanity at large however 
it must be kept in mind that these facts were revealed about 1500 years ago in a very simple diction keeping in view the intellectual level of that age thus we should not undermine it this these findings for the reason of its over simplification rather we should find the wisdom lying deep beneath its linguistic simplicity so dear friends we conclude our discussion here these programs are recorded both in urdu and english their videos can be watched on ideafoundation.com.pk website or its youtube channel and facebook their written versions are also available on the idea foundation's website please note code number of this program idea 2 r6 our lecture number 161 all friends are requested to subscribe the foundation's youtube web channel for the benefit of the noble cause thank you friends for participation allah hafiz